If you're anything like me, you know I absolutely love building gaming PCs, choosing parts that I want and putting it all together into something. However, if you're in the market right now for a gaming PC but have no experience at all in building them, pre-built ones are your best bet. But even then, choosing the right one will take some research and probably a lot of time. Enter the Zotac Mech 1. What's up guys, I'm Waf here and today we are looking at probably the ultimate gaming PC under the price bracket of 1 lakh. With that being said, let's get started. Now this is the Zotac Mech 1, a pre-built gaming PC that checks all the right boxes with safely coming under the price tag of under 1 lakh which is what most of us start out with when you want to build a good enough gaming rig. Now as far as the core specifications are concerned, it has an i5 7th gen that is clocked at 3.0 GHz and is quad core. It comes with 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and a GTX 1060 with 6 gigs of graphics RAM or a 1070 Ti with 8 gigs depending upon which variant you decide to buy. Now as far as the storage is concerned, you also have a 1TB hard disk and a 240 SSD pre-installed with further expansion options in case you'd want to add more storage. Now software wise, it comes equipped with Windows 10 installed along with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities out of the box, which I have to say is something I'm really impressed with. My main PC does not have Wi-Fi, I still have to use the Ethernet cable, but having Wi-Fi inbuilt inside a pre-built PC is not something you get to see every day. And that's not the end of it if you thought it was. This baby comes packed with a complete mechanical keyboard, a Zotac gaming mouse and a big mouse pad. Talk about complete package. And the keyboard and mouse are in no way cheap by any standards. The keyboard keys are really great and are lit with tons of lighting modes which add a bit of quirkiness to your otherwise professional gaming setup. Even the mouse feels great. It has six buttons and three adjustable DPI settings and is also RGB equipped and it changes the color depending upon which DPI setting you have selected. Pretty cool. Now, enough about these paper specs. Turning the computer on, you'll be greeted by the home screen, which by the way, takes hardly 10 seconds. I mean, the boot up times are insane. Now, as far as gaming is concerned, it's an experience. The 1060, which is uh, the less powerful variant of the two PCs that are available, is more than capable enough to handle modern day games and playing on it is nothing short of extraordinary. Now, the games load up quick, run super smooth on ultra settings, and even the keyboard and mouse add to the experience. I've even tried playing modern battle royale games like PUBG and the experience is stellar, no hiccups, just pure gaming experience. Now keep in mind, I say this after coming from a 1080 Ti, so in case there was any kind of bottleneck, I would notice it, but I haven't experienced it at all. Even as far as productivity is concerned, a spec sheet can really handle your Lightroom and Premiere needs with absolutely zero sweat. Now as far as the inbuilt perks are concerned, firstly the design of the PC is super cool. It has these vents which make it look like an Aventador for crying out loud. And you also have RGB lighting running across the computer which you can change with a software inbuilt called Spectra which you can cycle through various color modes and various colors which is super sleek. Now as far as overclocking is concerned you can also do that out of the box with the Firestorm software which is Zotac's own software up to 3.5 gigahertz if you need that extra pump but chances are I did not so you won't need it either and if that wasn't enough to convince you guys there are also a ton of deals available on Prime ABGB the PC website where you can get LG monitors with the entire PC and keyboard and mouse under 1 lakh 20 thousand and I'll drop the links below uh, there are three different kinds of packages one of them is for all you productivity freaks comes with an LG ultra wide the other one comes with a gaming monitor and the other one comes with a monitor which has uh, the most color accurate display 
day so if you're doing anything related to productivity or premiere or editing that should be the package you should go for other than that i hope you guys liked the video if you did feel free to drop a like subscribe to the channel and share the video until then this is anubhav signing out check out my instagram and on twitter links in the description below i will see you guys in my next video have a great day peace out